Welcome to another Inclusion tutorial. This one's on duplicating objects around a circle using the transform effect. It's a great effect to use, um, but quite complicated if you if you don't know what you're doing. Um, if you want to follow along, the artboard is 1920 by 1080 uh, pixels. Um, let's just clear away what we've done. I'm going to start off with the polygon tool. It'll be under rectangle or whatever you've got under your shapes. As you click and start to draw, uh, you might have a, a polygon, hexagon, whatever you set to. If you click and hold and use the up and down cursors, you can change the number. If you go all the way down, the minimum is three. If you hold shift, it's going to lock it on that axis. Um, another way of doing it is if you select that polygon tool and then just click on the artboard, it's going to ask you how many you want. If you put in five, it's going to draw five. If you put in three, it's going to draw you an equilateral triangle. So let's start with this triangle. We want to have a fill color. So just drag the white across, get rid of your stroke color for now. It gets us a triangle. You select it with V, go down to this bottom bounding box and hold shift, make it a little bit smaller. If you want to match these colors, by the way, I've got a brown and orange, just the illustrated icon colors. Hit pause and you can copy those colors if you want to work on those. So once we've drawn the circle, we'll zoom in. We're going to hit the shapes again and get the ellipse tool. And we're going to, if you can't see these pink lines, by the way, go up to view and smart guides. It just helps you align things a lot easier. So we go from the center there, click and hold. It's going to drag out to the side. If you hold shift and alt, it's going to do it from the center. Just a small circle like that. So let's align it the bottom of the triangle, bottom middle, you can see those two intersect lines there, and then let go. Press V, drag over everything, and press Command G, that just groups it together, so we can use it now. So zoom back out a little bit, and what we're going to do next is go up to Effects, uh, Distort and Transform, and Transform, and this window will pop up with lots of different options. We're only going to use a couple here. So the first thing to do is this little box here. Click the bottom middle. That's going to align it to that bottom middle bounding, bounding box. And that's where the effect is going to be applied. It's very important. And we want something uh, along the lines of, say, 10. Now to work out the angles, 360 degrees divided by 10 is a fairly easy one. If it's something like 15, you can always just type in 360 forward slash 15 and hit tab and that will divide 360 by 15, very handy. Once you've done that, you just want to drop a copy to 14, so we don't want to repeat that last one that we've done here. Click OK. Now, if you're on V and you double click, it should isolate the group. If that doesn't happen, and you're double clicking and nothing's happening, go up to Illustrator Preferences General, and make sure double click to isolate is ticked in general. So once that's done, double click, it'll isolate that shape. You can then click it again so it's selected. And then the cool bit is you just drag up holding shift until it looks about right. I need to move up a bit. Second so drag out and let go. Now Essentially, that's it. But you can do a lot more things with it. Once it's isolated, you can you can rotate these circles for whatever reason. You could drag um, a point here and move it whichever way you want. You can start to get some really cool effects there. If I sort of drag that one on there, drag that one down there. You get some sort of spiral focal lens type effect. And that is essentially it. Um, when this is isolated, if you've got appearances open, if you haven't, go to Window and Appearances. And if you just tap the group, 
in there you'll see the transform. So that, that transform effect has been applied to this group. Now, if you just click transform again, it's going to open that same window back up. And you can, if you decide you've got too many objects, you can drop them down and it's going to just delete them off. So if we go for 11, we want to go back up to here and do 360 forward slash 11 and hit tab. Don't hit OK, just hit tab. And it's going to work out your calculation for you. Hit OK. We'll come out of the isolation and select everything. Shrink it down and it shrinks them down as well. Just using that bounding box holding shift, you can go in and out. Now this is still an active effect. So moving them around gets you all sorts of different um, effects and looks. If you're happy with that and you've finished and you want to keep working on other bits inside the album, just select it and go up to objects, expand and that's it. And then you with A direct select just grab this stuff in the middle and delete it. And then you can start to draw whatever you like. And to add to the design, select everything, grind to artboard, maybe command C, command shift V, get bigger, change it to the stroke, delete, up the stroke to width. It's all a bit quick, but this gives you the general idea of what the transform tool can do. So if that was helpful, click like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.